Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here, the Faculty Librarian for the Agri-Sciences Faculty at Stellenbosch University, and welcome to our second video in our Literature Review series. In the previous video, we discussed the point of a Literature Review, and now we will be focusing on the first step of both your research project and your Literature Review, which is choosing your topic. To keep things in perspective, take note of the five steps of a literature review outlined here. A literature review is a kind of journey in your research, and the secret to a successful journey is good planning and preparation. You can use these steps as an overall plan of action for your literature review. We will cover each step in detail in each video, but just know that these will be the steps that you take. Our first step for you as a researcher is to select your topic. A successful research topic is usually a result of an interest in a practical problem. Your topic should ideally be where your interests, previous research and societal interests overlaps. It's important to look at what topics have been researched to build on them and also what topics are of importance in the world as your ideal aim is to publish your research. Sometimes you may want to research an area, but it's much more complex than you realize. In that case, speaking to somebody who is familiar with the field, like a supervisor, will help to clarify any areas that you are uncertain about. You may also have been assigned a research topic or a research area by your supervisor. This is perhaps a more detailed way to show how you narrow down from a specific research area. Once you have an area in mind, you'll need to keep going until you reach both a research question and the significance of your research. If you look at the example on this slide, you will see you move from a general interest to a broad topic, to a focused topic, then to a research question, which helps you identify the significance of your study. Although in the previous example of narrowing down, I spoke about a research question, it should be remembered that a research question is able to be a research statement or a research hypothesis as well. We can see here, I've taken the previous example of the research question and transformed it into a research statement. Now the difference between a statement and a hypothesis at this point might seem a bit confusing. And in fact, they can be a bit interchangeable in the sense that they are both not written as questions. The main difference is that a research statement summarizes the main point of the research, while a hypothesis sets out something that can be proved or disproved. So therefore, a hypothesis would usually contain a hint as to the variables being tested. In this case, the effective management strategies. Once you have your topic and your specific research question, it will make finding relevant literature a lot easier. Your research question may also change as you read because you may find new strategies to build your research on. So now you've got your topic and specifically narrowed your topic down to a research question, statement or a hypothesis. Our next video will be looking at searching and managing your literature with some practical tips for both.